Hey guys, um, today I wanted to talk to you all about, about how I came to use and discover the bathmate. Um, it's a long story, so this is probably going to be a two-day video. Um, but let's just get into it, right guys? Let's just get into it. Like how, how, I came, how I came to discover the bathmate. Okay, so when I was in my early 20 guys, um, I was overweight and I was under the perception um, that I was below average. And the reason I believe I was below average is because, you know, this was the advent of the internet. With it came the advent of porn. You watch porn. Lots of people have like, you know, giant cocks. And you're like, well, I don't have that. Like you can kind of see the, the thinking, right? The, 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 the false perception, right? Um, looking back, I probably was average, right? Um, but I was overweight, a little bit overweight. Um, I'm still a little overweight. I, I thin down and I, I go in cycles, guys. I, I lose weight, gain weight. It's always been a struggle. Probably always will be a struggle for me. But anyways, guys, so the, these two factors combined, uh, led to a huge amount of, uh, sexual anxiety for me, right, guys? Um, because this meant I didn't like to get undressed, right? I did not like to get undressed because I was overweight. And I thought I was below average. Okay, so with this subtext in mind, guys, when I went to go try to go on dates and talk to girls and all that stuff, that was always in the back of my mind, right? So it, 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 it like jives the the vibe, it jives the interaction in a very, very, very bad way, right? Which ultimately leads to rejection, or um, not rejection. I, I think don't think that's the right word. It, it, the interaction just doesn't go anywhere. That makes sense because that's always in the back of your mind. So, overweight creates sexual cre sexual anxiety. This leads to some rejection uh, interactions not going anywhere, and this 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 continues for a little while. Um, and eventually, like a new layer of bullshit adds on, and it led this eventually led to social mockery from not friends. I, like I'm gonna be honest, guys, people out friends. Or when people I like meet don't really care, but family, that's where it kind of was like the mockery came in for me, for me, for me. The mockery is like, oh, why, why are you single still? Why haven't you found somebody? What the hell is wrong with you? Like, this is the type of conversation I received from family members. And this is kind of where, like, in my opinion, like a jump off the cliff moment for me. This is like where, I guess you could say, it, it, it doesn't, it didn't motivate me to change it. It like sunk, it just sunk my confidence into like a black hole. So right guys, so, and that that's basically what happened. My confidence, it just destroyed my confidence because if your own family don't support you, then who will, right? Um, and I was relatively young, like early, early 20s, right? Just just into, into adulthood um, when this all went on. So that happened next, okay? So this leads to not approaching at all because you don't got any confidence in yourself. You're like, you know, you're kind of hard on yourself. Um, not approaching at all leads to depression, right? Um, depression, depression, I, I heard a, uh, a, a term of what depression is and I really, 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 really liked it, guys. I loved it, actually. Um, depression is yearning for the past, okay? Like, you don't like your present situation. You yearn for something in the past where you had it. Like, that's, I, I heard that I really liked that. Like, anxiety is fear of the future. Depression is is, is wanting something from the past. I really like that. Um, and I, I just miss the days. Like, like I, I just remember when I was 18, very confident. Like, very, very confident. But then once the social mockery came from the family, I just, I just saw the confidence kind of get sheaved in half. Now, I don't really hold this against them. I don't. There's, there's, there's worse, way worse families out there than that. But it, it, it does, it, that, that's here and here. Here, not now here. Just, I just remember, got depressed. The depression literally led eventually to me not caring about making income. Okay, guys? And that might seem seen, but if you don't care about yourself, right? You're depressed, you don't care about yourself. If I don't care about myself, why should I be making, like, money, right? Um... So that's a new layer, right? You can see how this all this this all like stacks on one of each other, right? So you're not making a lot of income, depressed, not approaching, confidence in the toilet, uh, family making mocking me, um, very socially socially awkward interactions, but not 
like in the sense like I don't understand social interactions, but in the sense like I'm a, I'm dreading uh, sexual encounters because I have sexual anxiety, and this comes because I'm overweight and I believe I'm below average because uh, because of just the media I've been uh, exposed to. Okay, so now we get to the next layer. I get older. This leads to dread about my uncertainty of my future. Am I gonna die alone? Am I gonna die poor? Those weigh heavy. Those weigh heavy. Those weigh heavy on you. Uh, this leads to suicidal thoughts. There was a there was a time, and it was actually in the virus. Fucking work had stopped. Dead broke. In debt. Grossly overweight. All the stuff stacked on top of me, and I could just feel. I could just feel the pressure, like crushing me, guys. Terrible, 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 terrible. Um. And th- this was just a v- vicious cycle, right? Because, like, you know, how do you escape this? You start eating. You start eating more, um, which makes you fatter. And then, you know, it uh, not taking your health, which which causes blood flow problems, which makes, you know, your erections not that great. So, you know, then you get even more sexual anxiety, which leads to more so- uh, so, um, socially awkward uh, conversations, which leads to more... Mockery from the family, which means lower confidence, meaning not approaching less than approaching at all, more depression, less caring about income, more dread, more bad thoughts. Oop, repeat the cycle because I want to do something like that. That's this. This is a vicious cycle, right, guys? Because how do you try to escape the cycle? You try to eat. You try to eat. I like you know, eating. I like eat. I stress eat, guys. I stress eat. That's probably my biggest sin. Um, and this has been a big, a big cycle. Um, but. One of the things, um, and there, there's some time. There were some good times in this, in this, in this, in the 20s too, guys. I don't think it was just all bad hill, but overall, I can see this cycle repeating over and over again. Okay, guys. Um, and eventually, guys, this led me. But eventually, you know, you want to you want to change, right? People crave change. Um, so, you know, again, let's go back to the early 20s. Um, I really, it really wasn't weight loss that I, I was looking into. It was like, how how going to be above average? Or at my time, I thought that was below average. Um, by the way, guys, the average size is like, I think it's like five and a half inches around that. That's what I read, five and a half inches. So that's the average size. Uh, looking back on that, that's probably what I was. But anyways, you know, Google and what pops up, guys. Eventually, I find something on the bath mat. Okay, now I didn't buy this at first, right? I, I kind of researched it, um, and we'll get into that. But um, so I buy this, and I gotta say, this really changed. Uh, this really changed my life for the better. Okay, guys, um, because what it did, um, what it did was, um, it made me feel good about myself. It made me feel like, oh. I like the way I look now. Well, I like my way I looked better, right? I was, there were still things I wasn't happy about. The weight, for example. But I liked overall the way um, it made me feel. So, feel and look. It, it, it gave me a, a confident boost that I wanted, right? It gave me the confident boost that I wanted. Now, what is the bath mate? Okay, I, I answered this yesterday, but let's kind of review the bath mate is the world's best, most popular water-based penis pump, okay? You fill it with warm water, and you place it over yourself, and it creates a suction. You use it for 15 minutes a day, 3 to 5 days a week, okay, guys? And it does work. It really does work. Um, it uses something called hydro technology, which increases blood flow far greater than a, like you ever could receive in a normal erection. Um... Which brings, um, it, it, they say, uh, I looked on the site, it says it brings oxidized nutrients into the tissues, uh, which is really good, and that the, the therapy is just basically a workout. It's just a workout for everything down there. Um, so that that's how they described it on the site. I, I agree. Um, it is a medically registered device. Um, the, the pressure of the vacuum cannot exceed safety limits, so it, they made it so you can't, you know, you can't overcreate the vacuum. And it's just my favorite adult toy. It's just my favorite adult toy in general, guys. Um, so what does life what does life look now, right? What does life look like now? Um, now I'm 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 above average. I'm I have in fact I did a before I got the extreme. Um, I was at six six and three quarters. Um, you can go see those pictures online. I believe it's day one. I have them on day one, so you you can see that. You can see that. Um, I don't I don't this fear actually, guys. This fear. 
my dear, this 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 has been eliminated. I don't have a, I don't have a cross off, but this has been eliminated. Okay, that has been eliminated. The weight thing's still a thing, but this has been this has been eliminated, guys. Um. Um. So that that's that's probably my biggest plus about that. Um. So yeah, that that. So now I do now I am above average. Um. Now this has been eliminated for me, right? The fear of being below average has been eliminated for me. And I have gotten some compliments. Um, the best ones I've gotten, guys, is um, I don't know why this 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 gets me off. You're stretching me out. I love that. I don't know what what about that about that saying is that makes me. It does. It just makes me blush. It just it make, it makes me feel good. It's probably the best compliment you could give to me. I, I don't know why. I don't know why that is probably the best compliment you can give to me. Um, so that's why I suggest every man. Every man have a bath mate. Every man, um, because it is just a wonderful device. I think it is a, um, it's really good for your confidence. It feels good. It makes everything down there much bigger. Um, even even if you don't believe in the long term games, guys, and there's some there's some statistics on the website if you want to look at them. Uh, if just even if it was just temporary, just you know one day gains, that is still good enough because it's it's. Just incredibly, just like again, see the pictures, guys. You'll you'll be like, wow, wow. Um, so that that's what I uh, that's that's what I got for you guys. Um, if you are interested in checking out the device, I have a link down below. Click it. Um, they have a 60-day money-back guarantee. If you get the device, you do not like the device, you think this was a total waste of money, just send it back. Um, but if you do, but I, I think you, if you use this, guys, if you if you use this device seriously and correctly, you're gonna love it. You're absolutely gonna love it, guaranteed it. Um, so that's what I got for you guys today. I hope to see you on the next video. I hope you have a wonderful evening. Later.